I didn't even really like cry when my dog died. You know what the thing that got me when my dog like died was? It was like two things that added up at one moment where I was like, all right, I need to like step out for a second. It was when, uh, it was like the last day before like animal control came and like my mom was like telling my little brother, he's like, all right, go feed the dog. And so my little brother is like going to feed the dog or something. This sounds really depressing. I don't know. Uh, the there's a funny, the there's a funny part of it. Yeah, yeah. He was aware by that point. There, there's a funny end to this story. There's a reason why I'm telling this. I'm sure I'm not just telling this like black pill the fuck out of you people. There's a funny end. All right. But the story itself is kind of AIDS, but I'm going to tell it anyway, because fuck you. So my mom's like, yeah, all right, feed the dog. My little brother's like, okay. So he goes in there. And he goes in the pantry, like, you know, starts scooping the dog food. And he fills up the cup. He's about to, like, lay it down, you know, in the kitchen for the dog. And as he lays it down, like, it, like the moment, like, it hits him, right? And my, I'm not going to say the age of my brother, but he's, like, he's, like, under the age of, like, uh, 10. So the moment, like, hits him, right, that this is, like, the last time he's going to feed the dog. So he starts, like, he loses it, but he doesn't lose it in a way where, like, you know how little kids cry, where they're like, ah, I'm, I'm angry right now. Like, he just has, like, this quiet moment. And so that, like, I saw him cry or whatever. And then I thought about it myself, and I'm like, you know, because that, that was, like, the same night that we had Nick versus the Rewired Soul, right? So normally, in, in any circumstance, I would have canceled the show, you know, just kind of chilled out for that night. But I knew I had to do that shit. And I knew they were going to take him in later that night. So it was like when I realized, I was like, all right, this is like the last time I see the dog. So I was just like, ah. But then the next day, all right, after all that happened, I'm, I'm like on the phone with Ben. And I tell him everything that I just told you guys, chat. And so he's like, okay, well, what was like the last meal you gave the dog? And I'm like, what do you mean? I just gave him fucking kibble. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you think? And he's just like, dude, it's his last meal. He didn't like, you could like give him anything you want. <laughs> you could have given him like fucking prime rib. You could give him like chocolate for all you care. You could have given him anything he wanted. You gave him like dry ass kibble. That's what, that's what you gave him his last meal on earth. That, that's, that's what you treated him to. And I just started, I fucking lost it, dude. I started dying. <laughs> just like, ah, oh, no, dude. <laughs> He's just like, you idiot, dude. You could have just spoon fed him just like fucking hot cocoa for all you care. Like, it doesn't matter at that point. You could give him just pure AIDS in a liquid AIDS. You could just feed him that and it wouldn't matter, you know, because it's his last meal. <laughs> like, that's, you, you give well, him kibble? Him? I don't know, fucking prime kibble. steak or something <laughs> just kibble <laughs> i started kibble. fucking crying dude <laughs> i'm just like <laughs> well when you put it that way i guess i am kind of addicted <laughs> yeah the dog's like oh boy this is gonna be i've waited all my life for the final meal oh, and, and it's just like, the same ass thing he's been eating his whole life just fucking like, cereal kibble. basically <laughs> yeah well, there you go eat up Eat up, Frank. That was his name. Ben had a special last experience with my dog. So Ben was at my house. We had just gotten back from a hike. We're at my house. We're figuring out what to eat. Ben's sitting on the couch. My dog's in the kitchen. And this is like a month before he got put down. Right? So my dog's sitting in the kitchen. And he's just sitting there. And all of a sudden, he starts humping the shit out of the ground. And then he just takes like a fat nut on the floor. <laughs> and we're just watching him. We're just like, uh, you good? <laughs> like, we're not doing shit. We're just like watching him have like a fucking like spasm or some shit. And we're just like, lol. <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> that was like Ben's like last ever like visual. Cause like after that, we like, we, we fucking did. We went to go play some video games. And then he like left later. So that was his fucking last experience looking at my dog.